Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be chalk painting my hutch and I'm going to be using the Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white and I will have everything linked down below. And the first thing I'm going to do is take off all the hardware and then give it a good clean. now that everything is clean and dry I will start painting and I'm not too sure what this paintbrush is called but I did have trouble with it because the bristles kept falling out and I did have to go in there and get them out and it just kept taking the paint off but I do change to a different brush in just a minute. And after I finished painting the top area, I did go back and paint longer strokes so it covered the uneven areas. See the bristles keep falling off but I did want to say it does look a little patchy but once I put in the second coat it will look much better and it's also your preference if you do want a more rustic farm style look I say one coat is enough. I am sitting at this bar trying to forget all the fun we used to have. My dreams I pick you up I just wanna make it right I know all about your troubles Wanna drown into your eyes And feel your blue skies there going to apply the second coat. I did wait 30 minutes in between coats and that was the directions on the bottle and overall I did three coats. So I go order one more shot In my dreams I pick you up I just wanna make it right I know all about the troubles Wanna drown into your eyes And feel your blue skies there So deep in you I'm blinded by your bittersweet shine I get what you need I'll make you feel free Be mine tonight All the trips we had are adventures All the waterfalls and the wild waters Hanging off the cliffs, counting all the shadows So 
So I'm also going to do the same thing with the doors and drawers, but these ones were pretty dirty so I gave them a good scrub down. And this is where I had the most toughest time with the brush, but I did find it easier to paint all the creases first and then go over everything. Finally, I changed to a different brush and as you will see, there will be no more fallout and a smoother finish. Your eyelids and perfect lips got me rushing pain and I'm so lit. Like lilies you open, the fragrance goes to my head, my darling I get everything that has been done. I will leave this link down below, but basically all I'm going to do is sand down all the edges. I wish I would have started off with this brush. It was just so easy to apply, but I am a newbie. This was my first time painting anything. <laughs> And 
and you will see my doggies throughout the video saying hi. And now I'm going to apply a thin layer of poly and my camera actually died before I finished but I will show you how I applied the second coat. I know all about the troubles Wanna drown into your eyes And feel your blue sky So deep in you I'm black. And you do want to be more careful on the edges Because if there is any drippings There it will be a yellowish color once it dries Be mine tonight And this is what it looks like after the poly has dried 24 hours. When you're on your way home, holding hands along the track. I'm dancing hours away, but I still feel alone. So I go order one more shot. My dreams I pick you up I just wanna make it right I know all about the troubles Wanna drown And now I'm gonna sand it with I believe 220 grit sandpaper And after I sand it down I'm gonna wipe it off with a cloth Make sure all the dust is off And then I will go in with a second coat of poly I'm going to be more careful on the second coat of poly because this will be my last one so I'm going to be doing longer strokes on this one. All the trips we have are adventures All the waterfalls and the wild waters Hanging off the cliffs, counting all the shadows Shadows wanna feel your blue sky within. So deep in you, I'm blinded by your bittersweet shine. I get what you need, I'll make you feel free. Be mine tonight and feel my blue sky within. And this is the ending result. I just love how it came out. I did want to say if you want more of a white finish, maybe use a different poly because the one that I used turned it a more yellowish color, but it did give it a more antique look. 
and the hardware that I used I did purchase at Osh they were closing down so I did get them for 75% off but I'm sure you can find them at Home Depot or Amazon.com and I did pay three dollars for them And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely love how it came out and thank you for watching.